All right, welcome to our channel. This is Science Revision. This clip contains mostly tested questions and suggested answers. This is grade six. Welcome if you are watching us for the first time. Kindly subscribe and like our video. Which of the following is not a fungi? Which, which of the following is not a fungi? So we are given choices here. Here we have yeast molds. Moss and mushroom. Yeah, which of the following is not a fungi? Do you remember fungi? Yes. All right. The correct answer here should be moss. The rest are fungi. We have useful fungi and unuseful fungi. Question number two. Grade 6 learners were asked to give examples of C invertebrates, which one is not correct. Grade 6 learners were asked to give examples of C invertebrates, which one is not correct. Here, here we are given octopus, we are given centipede, we are also given starfish and crab. Yes, we have octopus. CDP, starfish, crab. All right. The correct answer here should be CDP. CDP states, states in wet, moist areas, but the rest live in water. Question number three. The process by which a substance changes directly from a solid to gas is known as the process by which a substance changes directly from a solid to gas is known as we have melting, we have evaporation, we have sublimation and heating. All right. There is a song we used to sing long time ago. It was sublimation solids to gases deposition gases to solids condensation gases to liquids evaporation liquids to gases melting in solid to liquid and freezing liquid to solids, matter can change from state to state. Matter can change from state to state. Wow, welcome. Therefore, the correct answer here, let's read the question again. The process by which a substance changes directly from solid to gas. Hmm? The process by which a substance changes directly from solid to gas is known as, the correct answer here should be sublimation. Changing directly from solid to gas. Next question. The process by which ice changes to water is called, the process by which ice changes to water is called, All right, the correct answer here should be melting because it is solid, that is the ice, changing to liquid, which is water. So the correct answer here is melting. Let's go back to question number, question number five. five. Materials which allow some light to pass through them, but you cannot see through them clearly, are called Here, the key here is, can allow some light to pass through them, but you cannot see through them clearly. So this, the choice here should be translucent materials. Because in translucent materials, they can allow some light to pass through, but you cannot see through them clearly. So the correct answer is translucent materials. Which light bounces? Eh? When light bounces off a smooth 
surface. We say it has, this is reflection, this is refraction, and this is dispersion of light, which is also called splitting of light, which is the correct answer. Bouncing off is reflecting light. Therefore, we say the light has been reflected. All right. Which of the following forms the largest component of blood? The largest component of blood here is plasma, red blood cells, platelets, white blood cells. All right. The correct answer here should be plasma. Plasma forms the largest component of blood. Next question. It is question number eight. Let us start. Use the diagram below to answer all the questions that follow. So we are given question number one here. You can look at it. It is number eight. Name the following the blood vessel labeled B, pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein, vena cava, aorta. Then the heart chamber labeled K is called. We are given right auricle, left auricle, vent, right ventricle or aorta. Then we have number 10 here. What is the function of the valve labeled E? Allows blood to flow into the lungs, prevents backflow, blood traps, oxygen from the blood, helps in pumping the blood. Then we have, why does the part labeled F have weak walls? It receives a lot of blood because it pumps blood to all parts of the body or because it pumps a lot of blood or because it pumps blood that is not rich in oxygen. Back to question number eight. Name the blood vessel labeled B. Look at B. Yes. There is a song we used to sing. Vena cava e pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein, through the aorta, veins, valves, deoxygenated blood, wild lumen, they have a thin wall. Okay, we shall discuss that later. If you want to see that video, click into my playlist and go to science playlist and you will be able to find then I cover blood vessels. So the correct answer here should be pulmonary vein. Yeah, the correct answer is pulmonary vein. The heart chamber labeled, labeled K is called, look at this question number nine. So where is K? K is here. So you divide it here and then we start naming the chambers. So we know all the bottoms are ventricles. This is your heart. So this is the left ventricle, this is the right ventricle, and this is the left auricle, and this is the right auricle. Auricles are receivers. They receive blood. Ventricles are the pump. They pump the blood. The, the left ventricle is responsible for pumping blood to the rest of the body parts. Mm. So this is the left ventricle, this is the right ventricle, and this is the left auricle, and this is right auricle. So the correct answer here should be the right auricle. Question number 10. What is the function of the, the valve labeled E? Look at E. Yeah, can you see the valves? Yeah, definitely. The correct answer should be to prevent backflow of blood. Since it is valve, valves prevent backflow of blood. Number 11. Why does the part labeled F have thick walls? So this is how we have the thick walls. You can see, but F is this one here. So why is it thick? All right. The correct answer should be because it pumps blood to all parts of the body. Yeah, we saw that it is responsible for pumping blood at high pressure to the rest of the body parts. That's why aorta or arteries do not have valves, except, yeah, arteries do not have valves. Next question, it is question number 
number 12. Which of the following is not a use of the gas represented by 0.03%? Then, which of the following is responsible for lighting, for fighting germs in the body? Then, then we have number 14. In the case of injuries, excessive bleeding is usually prevented by blood clot. Clotting of blood is usually done by then we have the last question here is number 15. Which of the following gases supports burning? All right. Back to question number 12. Which of the following is not a use of the gas represented by 0 0.03? Okay, learners, whenever they draw this pie chart to you, remember that the largest of all is called nitrogen. So uh, 0 0.03, this the second last the second last or the the second last is usually the inert gases and the least so we have these questions question number 12 which of the following is not a use of the gas represented by 0 0.03 then uh, we have number 13. Which of the following is responsible for fighting germs? Then, in the case of injuries, excessive bleeding is usually prevented by blood clot. Clotting of blood is usually done by, then, which of the following gases supports burning? And the choices are here. We have oxygen, inert gases, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Okay, back to question number 12. To question number 12. In case you are given this pie chart, remember that the largest of all, the largest is always nitrogen, and the smallest is carbon dioxide. Yeah, oxygen is usually 21%. So this is carbon dioxide, this is oxygen gas, and this is nitrogen gas, but this is the inert gases. We all know the uses of carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide is used as preservative and it is also used as used in photosynthesis and extinguishing fire. The uses of oxygen are germination, breathing, and supporting combustion, and also is responsible for rusting. So the correct answer here should be germination, that is for oxygen. Which of the following is responsible for fighting germs? Yeah, in your blood. All right. The correct answer here should be white blood cells. In the case of injuries, excessive bleeding is usually prevented by blood clot. Clotting of blood is usually done by... Yeah. The correct answer here should be platelets. Which of the following gases supports burning? This one, you have done it in question number 12. So the correct answer here should be oxygen. Procrastination. Procrastination is the act of postponing, delaying, or putting off things, especially, habitually, or intentionally. Anyone can be a procrastinator. Teachers... Parents and guardians, let us not procrastinate our children's performance by delayed preparations. Join the RASA Assessment Generator today and get your assessments ready in seconds. The RASA, 